Hey guys, today I want to talk about the power of the mind and how important it is for us as Christians to be careful what we allow to invest itself in our mindsets and to grow. We should be so careful what we listen to and what we watch because whatever we listen and see, watch, that becomes our thoughts, that becomes our mind and that our thoughts leads to our decisions and our actions. Do you see the power of the movies you are watching? Do you see the power of the social media content we are looking at? The power of the conversations we form part of? Often in life, I would hear people say, I struggle with jealousy. And one of the first thing I ask them is, what did you watch? Because often those people would be looking at things where people were cheating or distrusting each other. And that leads to their emotions and their thoughts. And then suddenly distrust becomes their action. It's actually proven that this is actually a study what that was done where a child was looking at the parent hitting the door. And then when the child was put in that room, the child just started to hit the door. The child was just repeating what he or she saw. And then we, we as grown-ups, we aren't different. The movies we watch. How often would you see you are watching movies where they are swearing and then suddenly you will hear yourself using those words? Or it's also proven, people who are watching aggressive movies often shows actions of aggression. And God is calling us out in the word of this. And he says, hey, be careful. Be careful what you fall yourself with. I want to read to you 1 Peter 5 verse 8, which is, be well balanced, temperate, sober of mind. Sober of mind. God wants us to be sober. He doesn't want us to be up and down in our emotions, up and down in our thoughts. Often, we will think something negative and then it turns into an action. Often, we would think someone dislike, dislike us and then our actions repeats or does something based on that thought. And this is so dangerous because here Jesus says, be careful, be vigilant. Hear this, be vigilant and cautious at all times. For that enemy of yours, the devil, roams around like a lion roaring in fierce hunger, seeking someone to seize upon and devour. I don't think it's a coincidence that Jesus calls us out here and say, Hey, be careful what you allow in your mind. Because Satan comes around to roar. He comes to kill, steal and destroy. That's what John 10, 10 says. So the moment I allow to myself to watch wrong things, I am opening a door for the enemy. I'm opening a door for the enemy to come in, steal, kill and destroy. Be careful. The Bible says be vigilant, cautious, watch out. And if and allow, ask Holy Spirit. This is exactly what I do. I ask Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, how do you feel about this? It can be the cleanest, nicest movie. But when I listen to Holy Spirit speaking to me, maybe I shouldn't watch this drama now. Because it will cause me, it will give me an unnecessary heartache. Ask Holy Spirit. Go and say, Holy Spirit, talk to me about what to watch. Often when I scroll through Instagram, they often pop these videos that, that's not part of your content. And I would feel how Holy Spirit will point out to me, don't watch this, don't watch this, don't watch this. Not only that, how often in life does social media or watching movies or reading books, books, Books are good. It's very educational. But too much of a good thing is not a good thing. If the books you are reading are not honoring God, don't read it. Let's listen to Philippians 4 verse 8. And Philippians 4 verse 8 tells us exactly what we should fill our minds with. What we should be thinking. What we should be watching. 
Listen to this. For the rest, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is worthy of reverence and honorable and seemly, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely and lovable, whatever is kind and winsome and gracious, if there is any virtue and excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think of and weigh and take account of these things. Fix your minds on them. These are the things the Lord wants us to think about. So let's say, for instance, there comes a negative thought in my mind about someone. What am I supposed to do? According to 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5, I am supposed to take my thoughts in obedience and captivity to Jesus Christ. So now suddenly I think a negative thought. What do I do? No, Lord, this is not from you. I bind this thought in the name of Jesus Christ. Get. And I like to claim back seven times. So I say, I claim back seven times. I will. I will love. I will have joy. I will have peace. I will think of what is good. Because this is how Satan comes to attack us. This is how Satan comes to destroy us. This is how marriages are destroyed. Everything starts with a thought. There's no coincidence that Romans 12 verse 2 says, Daily renew your mind so that you will walk in the will of the Lord. Daily renew your mind. Just today, where you go, stand still and think about what you are thinking, what you are watching, what you're listening to, what you are reading. What are you allowing to fill yourself with? And I want to encourage you. Make sure that you're reading your Bible. There's so many evidence that shows that when people started to read their Bible, how their lives change. You want your life to change. Start to read your Bible. Start to read the truth. I just want to pray for us. And I want to pray that Holy Spirit help us. And don't try to do this on your own. Go and say, Holy Spirit, help me. If you are struggling to let go of addictions, you are watching, but it's not honoring God. Go and say, Holy Spirit, help me. But I want to pray for us today. I want to pray that Holy Spirit will seal us. That Holy Spirit will make us a tent of what we what, what we as Christians allow to invest itself in our lives and growing our lives through our thoughts. Let's pray together. Just stay where you are right now. Just say, Lord, I take this prayer. Father God, right at this moment, Lord Jesus, I pray for us. Oh, Lord, I ask that you will pour your spirit out upon your children. Lord, I ask that we will be vigilant and cautious for what we allow in our minds. For what we allow to invest and grow in us. I ask Holy Spirit that you will be your, our, our seal Lord. That you will shield us away from the attacks from the enemy Lord. And I ask Holy Spirit that you will speak to us. When something we are watching or listening to or reading is not from you. Lord help us to be attentive. Help us to have attain us Lord. Ready to hear your voice. Ready to move on it Lord. I thank you that we can trust you, therefore. Lord, my prayer this today is that you will bless each and everyone listening to this video, watching this video, Lord, hearing this word. I pray, send your blessing out upon their lives, Lord. And thank you that we can trust you, therefore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed day.